holiday travel is very different this year, and there's one thing that has changed, and you can actually save more money on those big trips. So Ashley is with Linda Crowen from Hopper to learn a whole lot more. Hey, Ashley. Yes, hi. Good morning, and Liana, good morning to you. Morning. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so here's the thing. Jordan just said it. Yes, it is time to start booking those holiday travels. And, you know, I think people have a big fat question mark regarding when to book, how to book, if they can not even book. And, of course, we figured we would let the travel expert give us those answers. Uh, let's go ahead and just start. What, what can you tell us? So, like you said, travel is going to look really different this year. But if you're planning to get away for the holidays, there's some good news, which is that airfare is historically low. So in the past seven years that we've been tracking prices for airfare, it's the lowest that it's been. So if you booked a ticket last year, you can expect to see prices down 41% for Thanksgiving and 40% for Christmas. So we're looking at averages for Thanksgiving under $200 round trip and for Christmas just over $200. Now I like those prices, wow. but what I don't know what I like is the best idea is to book travel by Halloween. That's in a week from now. I know. So <laughs> our guidance is always to book by the end of October because you can really get the best prices about 30 to 60 days out. Um, you know, this year is no different. So if you can book by the end of the month, that's going to save you the most. However, if you know, you're really not sure if you're still planning to travel this year or um, you know, you just want a little bit more time because prices are down so much. If you want to wait a little bit more, you know, wait a little bit longer this year, you probably are still going to pay less than you did last year. Absolutely. And then, of course, being flexible on travel dates. Yes, yeah, so being flexible is kind of the best way to save money. Uh, you know, what, with Thanksgiving, last minute travelers can save about 8% off peak prices if they travel on Thanksgiving Day. And for Christmas, um, you can save almost 30% off if you plan to depart the Monday or Tuesday before Christmas. And one thing we're seeing this year is a lot of people are planning more extended stays for the holidays, especially around the winter holiday. So if you can, you know, take uh, a flight a little bit earlier or come back a little bit later, you are probably going to save yourself some money and can spend a little bit more time this year as well. Yeah, and you know, a lot of people too who travel oftentimes will stay with a family or indoor friends or you're, you're kind of forced to stay in a hotel. So how do we take advantage of some of the good rates out there? So the good news is that when you book around the holidays, you actually are likely to get a lower hotel rate than if you were traveling in there the same, you know, over the summer. So that's definitely some good news. Um, if you check into a hotel on, um, you know, a Sunday night versus a Friday night, you're going to save some money. So definitely just play around with those dates and see uh, you know, what, what the best deal is for your specific destination. Got it. All right. If people want more information, how can they find you or of course, um, do any kind of anything with Hopper? <laughs> so, you know, you can download the Hopper app on Android or iOS, um, or you can visit us on the web. Awesome. Okay. So you're going to stick around, right? Because we need to tell people at home, if you are going to book holiday travel, what they need to be prepared for. So some fun tips coming up there. Yes, absolutely. All right. Thank you so much. All right, Jay, back on over to you. All right.